this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nathan. one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Bones Jones. We are set for a main event of the evening. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Free for this one. Ready. Do it. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Moving to his left now. found the target. Back and forth we go. Oh, going for the takedown here. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight. He's going guillotine! Yep, that guillotine's deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Aspinall is going for a choke here. Oh, he might have that submission on deep. Well, 
sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he got to his spot. I need you to scramble. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely low. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back. Oh, nice kick. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. There it is. Ooh, sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job of attacking. A lot of rolling to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Take a deep breath and recover. This next round, you really want to focus on ground control. You have to set up your takedown. I want you to maintain a dominant well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Hip over into the leg kick. Oh, great shot. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Aspinall. Oh, that lead left hand has been money. Jones gets in the clinch. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Gets to the single collar tie. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile. Setting up the submission attempt. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, nice right hand on the chin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Jones. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Jones is right back to the full mount. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Good work from the top here by Jones. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Side control now. Great submission defense. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnny Barr. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. 
All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's all Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Trying to establish that jab once again. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Good work, guys. Come on. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Low kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Takedown defense holds up. And now some separation. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. <laughs> We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield to try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Aspinall's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Nice positional control here. Deep. Oh, he's gonna submit it. You need to work out his position. No way. He got it. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the armbar. The fight looks done. He loves to fight on. Under 20 seconds now to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. Hey, stop. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. You can't eat shots like that. The judges are going to score it against you. And the ref All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, Look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear Ready. of getting taken down back to the mat. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an 
extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of this kid. It doesn't take much to avoid Oh, man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the throw. Oh, another one. Look at him whip his hips. Oh, and that'll do it. John Jones with a huge knockout tonight. Holy smokes. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John 